I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday January the 30th brought to you in part by Vitafirm performance that pays check out Vitafirm's booth at uh, NCBA trade show in San Antonio next week it'll be booth number 1459 hello basis uh, we haven't seen a basis on this uh, February contract as of yet but uh, we are seeing, I'm saying, a, po a positive basis where guys are more apt to trade. But we finally saw it uh, here on Wednesday, and it may be only a quarter, a hundred weight, but still, it is a basis, which means your hedge feeders won't have to lose money on their hedge there, uh, which really basically just takes off of what they got for their cattle. But uh, we're still seeing uh, continued. Uh, drag from this uh, coronavirus uh, that started out in China and uh, we are starting to get more information in and we're starting to maybe see a clearer picture of it and we're not losing near as much on our markets as we were when it first came out early this week but uh, yes we probably assume that it is much worse than, than than what we're hearing reports of because it's out of China and they don't really like to to tell the rest of the world that they they have problems in their country but uh, we as we know that, it, that it's more likely that it is worse than what they're saying which could bring about more fears we're also assuming that they've had it around uh, for several weeks before they actually reported it and uh, if that's true then the losses that we've seen of life and the sickness are probably not as bad as what it could be if it was going to be an epidemic and uh, actually your, your regular regular old uh, influenza kills and sickens a lot more people than what this is and if it's been around for weeks and weeks over there uh, now they're starting to get a more of a handle on it they're starting to build uh, medical facilities uh, to handle these emergencies and the things and and the 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 cases that we've seen in the United States we've been able to keep a cap on those so maybe that deal is not about to wash over it's still going to be in the news but maybe it won't impact the markets uh, as swiftly as it did early this week but let's look at the board for Wednesday February live cattle futures down another 40 cents so now you have February the spot market at 121.75 and we did have some trade at 122 so there's your quarter positive basis April down 47 cents at 120.22. Your out front months uh, were also down, ranging from 40 cents to 55 cents, so surely not a wreck. January feeder cattle are actually up a nickel as they try to get in line with that CME cash feeder cattle index, uh, which is not falling uh, quite that much yet, even though our, our cash markets have been down hard this week. So it's likely going to have to run up here uh, the next couple of days to, to meet up with that CME cash feeder cattle index. But we, we couldn't see any loss in the real market or the, the mature market. Uh, just your out front, uh, what everybody uh, is thinking the market could be under these fears. March feeder cattle down 42 cents at 134.97 and your out fronts from there on uh, down also from 50 to 90 cents. But there again, not a complete wreck. Your fat cattle trade, we did have uh, some basis jumping in Kansas at 122. Uh, we don't know how much traded there. It, it's sure not a, a swing and gate type to, of a trade, but 122 is only two bucks lower. Uh, that's not a complete wreck. Uh, that's better than a lot of us feared earlier in the week. Uh, the Fed Cattle Exchange had a lighter run on Wednesday morning, your online fat cattle sale and they had three pins offered Wednesday morning at 123 but no takers but then a little bit of that 122 in Kansas showed up there later in the day did have a few more confirmed sales through mandatory price reporting in Iowa about 600 head dressed from 195 to 196 uh, so you know that's that's three or four dollars lower and uh, in Nebraska just a couple of hundred head at 194 so even though it's been very very light trade we've pretty much established what our market is and don't think that these uh, these cattle feeders are really really suffering out there many of the cattle that are hitting the fat market right now were purchased during that market crash following the Holcomb fire at Tyson Fresh Meats we know how much uh, lower your feeder cattle were right then and then these guys are hitting a lick on these cattle these cattle are making good money for those cattle feeders 
yes we'd like to have more market position than we had we hate it that this killed it we may be able to get it back after this deal kind of washes over but uh, but it's it's not a complete disaster box beef cutout values uh, we're a little bit mixed on Wednesday with choice cuts on Wednesday afternoon 213.52 up 67 and your select cuts down 23 cents at 211.93 widening that choice select spread out just a little bit your slaughter so far uh, for the week through Wednesday 362,000 that's down just 6,000 from the big week we had last week but up 14,000 from the same week a year ago and that's significant uh, they are keeping these chain speeds going uh, in comparison to a year ago uh, if you look back and, and last week we ended up slaughtering about 40,000 head more than we did the same week a year ago and it's looking to be about the same this week if we have a decent Saturday uh, look at what's going on around uh, Roman Schooley uh, from Bloomfield Iowa he called me uh, today and, and we're, we're, we're in the process of getting their market to report automatically but haven't quite got them yet but he gave me one of the best quotes that I saw all day it was out of Bloomfield Iowa 135 head of 750 pound steers bring 151 dollars that's nothing to sneeze at also this Friday on dvauction.com you can watch and view and bid right there online the Schooley Cattle Company annual Simmental and Angus bull and female sale coming to you from the Bloomfield Iowa barn there that Roman Schooley and his family own and run right there and that's going to be Friday January the 31st right here on DV Auction be sure to tune in for that at uh, sale if you're interested in some of the breeding stock right there let's talk about your real-time index on uh, DV Auction 142.99 yes it's fallen quite a little bit uh, it has it has gone uh, cheaper than what your ca uh, CME cash feeder cattle index uh, last quoted was uh, well over 143 there and just giving you a good idea it's a very good precursor to what what uh, your cash CME feeder cattle index is going to be which is very important when we get to the maturity of some of these feeder cattle contracts but that 142.99 was down 73 cents compared to the end of the day on Tuesday look at some of your big markets OKC West and El Reno Oklahoma 5500 head for the two-day sale uh, fairly evenly split between the calves on Tuesday and the and the feeder cattle on Wednesday uh, your feeder steer is actually fully steady and so that gives us more encouragement that uh, compared to a week ago after that big sell-off early in the week we, we still sold some feeder steers feeder steers fully steady a lot of that has to do with lighter receipts uh, because uh, people were afraid to sell their cattle because the market was down so much so so your order buyers had a few holes to fill there feeder heifers though four to seven dollars lower and we had seen those feeder heifers make a big comeback in the last several weeks after uh, showing a big discount to the steers there right after the first of the year your calves were sharply lower on Tuesday but things on Wednesday were quite a bit better than they were on Tuesday and we're hoping that that continues throughout the rest of the week uh, Dodge City Kansas a very light run there because of weather 600 heads only there uh, a lot of snow around that uh, Dodge City Kansas area there and around those winter livestock barns but as much as 15 inches of snow there in southern Kansas and that's a lot of snow for that part of the country some individual quotes here's a market that we've just started reporting automatically here at DV auction it's a it's a market that I'm familiar with I know a lot of those people in southern Virginia we don't have as many of those eastern sales because so many of them uh, sell such small lots that it wouldn't tell us a whole lot but one of the bigger sales out in that part of the country there is tri-state livestock market in Abingdon Virginia and we're starting to get that feed from them look at this individual quote from them way out east in Virginia 73 head of 681 pound steers bring hundred and forty eight dollars and that's nothing to sneeze at guys uh, nothing at all uh, they had a big sale in Bassett Nebraska 
and uh, you guys think I, I play favorites Bassett is just a good market and it's the top of the market out there in in the the sand hills in Nebraska there so it's always good measuring stick to see kind of what the market's doing and yeah it's lower when the market's lower I don't care if it's a premium type sale it's going to be lower when the market's down but around 5500 head there and had nice weather up in that part of the country uh, compared to the snowy uh, weather that they had uh, much further south down in Kansas. But your middleweight calves in Bassett, Nebraska, unevenly steady both on steers and heifers. And your middleweights, I'm calling them from like four and a half to 700 pounds there. Your seven weight steers and bigger in Bassett were sure four bucks lower. And your lightweight heifers as much as six dollars lower. Look at this uh, market report, automated market report from DV Auction right here. This includes all the cattle that went through the ring in Bassett on Wednesday. Look at these most popular weights. 896 head of 505 weight steers that averaged 552 pounds. 176.51. 1,087 head of six weight steers averaged 644 at 164.28 and 651 head of your seven weight steer calves in Bassett, Nebraska average 739 at 149.94 very impressive quotes for the way things are but still much lower than they were uh, just a couple of weeks ago look at some heifer quotes 1257 head they're not keeping too many of them lighter heifers back five weight heifers average 556 at 160.49 818 head of the six weight heifers Average 640 pounds at 155.08. Got a few individual quotes out of Bassett to kind of let you know what's going on. 90 head of 515 pound steers, fancy type steers, and, and they're all fancy there, but this was the, the cream of the crop. 515 pound steers bring 193.50. 88 head of 615 pound steers in Bassett bring 173.75. And this is, is reality, guys. 70 head of 823 pound steers Bassett, Nebraska, you kind of know the kind 142.50 and that's your feeder flash for Thursday